This is, more or less, the plot to the Witcher video games, and not the books. Let's begin. On a land known as the Continent, real creative there, guys, elves and dwarves live and prosper until an event called the Conjugation of Spheres occurs. This merge parallel dimensions, allowing beasts and demons to portal through. During this event, humans and other creatures show up and colonize the planet. In response to the monster's ferocity, humans become witchers, humans who undergo rigorous training at an early age. They endure a mutation process that makes them stronger, faster, sterile, and drastically increases lifespan. Once a witcher completes his training, he travels the world working independently to slay monsters at a price. Regardless of the monster infestation, humans build their own kingdoms and are constantly in conflict with one another for whatever self greed drive reason. Racial conflict rules the continent, as elves, dwarves, and other non-humans are often persecuted by humans. Yeah, that sounds about right. Humans also discover their imbuement with magic, and many become sources. Mysterious dark spirits known as the Wild Hunt haunt the land, interacting with the most vile and evil of men and creatures alike. One witcher in particular, Geralt, does accept work in his profession and earns the name the White Wolf. Geralt adopts a young girl named Ciri, the biological daughter of Emir, ruler of Nilfgaard, and trains her alongside his lover and sorceress Yennefer. Ciri possesses magical powers and trains to become sorceress as well as a witcher. The Wild Hunt takes Yennefer. Geralt offers his soul in exchange for Yennefer's, and the Wild Hunt agrees. Geralt spends a total of five years with the Wild Hunt, but loses his memory of the events that occur there. Meanwhile, the leader of a human supremacist group named Jacques de Aldersberg plots to create a race of superhumans in a grand illusion that he will lead the new race over the world. To achieve this goal, he prepares to take the special potions the witchers use to create more witchers. Sometime later, Geralt reappears with no memory of anyone or anything. He re-establishes his cognitive footing at a witcher stronghold with the help of a sorceress named Triss. But then, a group of bandits led by Jacques steal potions that transform humans into witchers. Geralt finds and eradicates the bandits. Geralt finds and kills Jacques. After that, a witcher assassin kills a king named King Fultis and frames Geralt. An officer believes Geralt is innocent and gives him his freedom in exchange for his services to track down the king's killer. Geralt discovers that the Witcher assassin is named Letho. Letho explains to Geralt that he assassinates kings so he can replace them with fit rulers that will treat everyone equally. However, Letho actually only slayed the king so he can make way for an invasion force known as the Nilfgaard Empire to embark on a conquest from the south. Geralt faces Letho, choosing either to spare or kill him. Regardless, the Nilfgaard Empire comes in with a massive invasion force. Meanwhile, Geralt regains most of his memories but recalls nothing about his time with the Wild Hunt. However, he does remember Yennefer and journeys to find her. He succeeds, and Yennefer informs Geralt that he's been summoned by Emir, the new ruler of the northern capital. Emir tasks Geralt with finding Ciri. Ciri's on the run from the Wild Hunt and wants to use her powers to cultivate a new world on the continent, before a plague called the White Frost eradicates the world. Geralt journeys to meet a spy sent by Emir to gather information about Ciri's whereabouts, but the Wild Hunt beat him there and tortured the spy to death. Geralt retrieves and safeguards Ciri in a Witcher stronghold, awaiting the Wild Hunt to try to come and find her. Geralt and his allies work together to gather enough resources to lure out and defeat the Wild Hunt. Geralt faces and defeats the leader of the Wild Hunt, Aridin. In his dying breath, Aridin releases the White Frost to consume the land. Ciri faces and stops the White Frost with her magical powers. And that was all the Witcher games in three minutes. Oh man, that was a lot. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this in three minute video. And if you did, leave a like. Are there any three minute videos we haven't done yet that you want to see? Let us know in the comments below.